Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to another evening of music here at From the Top. I'm your host, Peter Dugan. And uh, have you ever found yourself looking at someone and saying, uh, hey, we're twinning? Uh, that's a word that's entered into this fine English language of ours in more recent years. And uh, it's it, it means you're either you're dressing the same way or you're ordering the same thing from the restaurant. But there's actually real twins out there, folks, and we're going to meet <laughs> two of them. Um, they happen to be uh, both musicians. Shaylin Jost was just featured recently on one of our episodes. She's a harpist, and her twin brother Marshall is going to be heard in an upcoming program. He is an organist. Uh, they are both 17 years old because that's the way twins work. They have the same age, <laughs> and um, they're coming to us from Summersworth, New Hampshire. They have a really fantastic program, two unusual instruments that we don't get to hear from much, harp and organ. Uh, I can't wait to hear what they've got in store for us. So uh, before we let them take over with some music, I just want to encourage all of you to use the chat to tell us where you're watching from. Let us know how you're enjoying the program, and later on, uh, be sure to participate in our game. Okay, uh, and with that, let's turn it over to Shaylin and Marshall Jose.
Wow. Wow. So beautiful. Um, I'm sure this is incredibly cliche, so I apologize for that. But the combination of harp and organ together is actually heavenly. Like the sound, the, the, the co combination of color that you two create, um, it's really special. And it's, it's a rare treat for us to get to hear that. So thank you. Um, tell everyone what we just heard. That was Aria in Classic Style by Marcel Grajani. Um, it's uh, in classical style, um, although it was written in the 20th century. So it doesn't, definitely doesn't sound 20th century. It sounds classical, which I think is really cool. Um, it was written by a, a harpist. So it's definitely a lot more <laughs> heavy in the harp part, <laughs> which I, I kind of feel bad for Marshall having to sit there and plod through. Harp piece with organ accompaniment. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Well, it, it um, yeah, fun. it was it was fantastic. Uh, by the way, can you when you're in that configuration, Marshall? Do you have like a um, mirror that you're able to use to see Shaylin, or are you guys just? using your twin senses to, to know where to place every beat. Yeah. Twin tuition. Twin tuition. It's, it's kind yeah. of a weird thing about this room. It's just that it's kind of, um, we can't really set up in any way that we can see each other's faces. So actually I was trying to watch his feet um, because he often wow. has like the beat in the pedal. So I'm trying to like watch his feet to, to follow the beat. In a, in a That's really spots. That's a really cool trick. Um, you know, Shaylin, you and I actually got to play a duet on the show together, which I gushed about on the radio about like how much fun that was to uh, to get to play with the harp and to have like trade arpeggios back and forth was really cool. Um, what is it like playing in a in a duet with your brother? Uh, I think it's just as fun. Um, I mean, it's special. Yeah, I mean, since we're since we're twins, we can just give each other grief and stuff. Like if we mess up. Um, and we all, you know, we handle it well, <laughs> I think, but, um, I mean, I don't think it's any different, like us being twins than us just being siblings. Um, it's not like, we're not, right. we still, we still, you know, have our arguments, but we sure. get along pretty well. <laughs> Marshall, um, I apologize again, if this is something you've probably heard too often, but, um, your instruments are atypical. They're large. They're not the most portable. How did you end up choosing these two? Well, uh, for me, a new lady came to our church when I was 10, and she had majored in organ. And so when um, she came, she started playing the organ at our church. And that was kind of like the moment of wow for me, I guess, uh, where I was mm. like, man, you know, look what she can do with her feet. That's so cool. I want to do that too. And that kind of started it. Um, then I got a scholarship with the YOC and that funded the first year of organ lessons. So that's how it started. And then the rest is history. How about you, Shaylin? Yeah. Um, well, I, I think a lot of people playing harp, they have like this one major like defining moment that like, oh yeah, I went to this concert and I like fell in love with the harp. I don't know. I have really no clue of how I got interested in the harp which is kind of weird. It makes for kind of a lame story, but <laughs> <laughs> I've always just been kind of, into, I've been, I like, I've liked the harp my whole life. Um, I think I started like telling mom and dad about it when I was like really young and they were like, okay, let's take piano lessons first. And right. then after I did a couple years of piano lessons and when Marshall started organ, they asked me if I was still, if I was still serious about playing the harp. And I said, yeah. So they got me a teacher and we got started. Fantastic. And, um, you know, for those watching right now who aren't super familiar with the intricate inner workings of these beasts, um, I would like to challenge each of you to give us the rundown of how the instrument works. Introduce us to the nuts and bolts, but I'm going to time you. So I, I'm going to give each of you one minute to explain to us how does this instrument work. And uh, we're going to start with Shaylin. Oh boy. All right. Okay. So, see if I can keep so, this in one minute. All right, here we go. And go. All right, so I'm, move I'm gonna first. move the camera over to the harp so we can get a better. Cool, but valuable time is wasting, so. Oh, my word. Oh, come on, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> move the camera. Okay. All right, I'm gonna restart the clock now because that would, that would just be too mean. And oh, oh, thanks, Peter. go. Okay, 
So here's a closer view of the farm. Um, we've got all these bunch of discs up here, which is kind of overwhelming to just look at. So um, they are actually attached um, through the column here down to the base of the harp where we have seven pedals and each one of those pedals um, controls some of the discs. So um, there's a pedal for each note in the octave. So for instance, my C pedal controls 30 seconds. all the Cs in the harp. No pressure. So um, it makes the, the pitch start sharper flat. So there's three, um, there's three settings for each pedal. The top setting is flat, and it makes the string 15 seconds. completely relax here. And then if I go down to the bottom, it makes the string as um, tight as possible, which makes it sharper. So each pedal does that for every single string in the octave. Three, up. two, one, time. That was pretty good. Go. I feel like I feel like I got to understand at least like the basics of how those pedals work how they're real, how they're attached to the string. So, all right, that was great. That was really helpful. Um, Marshall, it's your turn to tell us all about the organ in one minute. Are you ready? No, we're going to move the cameras yet again. Are you going to move the camera again? Of course. Oh, yes. All right. Well, yeah, we, uh, I wish I had some, some waiting music, a little yeah. Jeopardy theme or Jeopardy something. Jeopardy theme. Jeopardy. Okay, yeah. so the timer. Okay, ready and go. Okay, so these keyboards are called manuals. And these, I have a different version of stops. Normally you'll see like these big pull out knobs that you um, pull, but these are called rockers and they control the four different types of stop sounds that you can have. You have the principles, which are completely unique to the organ. No other instrument can mimic them or no other instrument can uh, play those. You have the flutes, obviously flute. Then you have the reeds, so like the trumpets, seconds. big sounds. Um, and then the strings. Um, so, bass, and then you have, of course, the pedal board, which everyone, you know, wows at. But, um, you cannot just play this with any random it's type of tennis shoe. You have to play them with organ shoes, which have a soft bottom that's made of felt. Um, and it makes it nice and easy to slide around with. Um, you can use both your toes and your heels. And that's that. All right. That was cool. good. That was good. Um, I'm sorry. That was, I know it's something kind of cruel about, uh, about having you to expl explain the way your, the love of your life operates in one minute. Uh, so thanks for that. Right. Thanks for the tutorial. Do you have organ shoes nearby that we can, that we can take a peek at? Yes. Hold them up to the camera there. Boom. Yes. Nice. They almost look like regular shoes. Almost. These, um, they're technically classified, like they could, you could use a pair of like dance shoes. Um, these are I technically see. dance shoes, but they have the soft bottom and then the, the heel that um, makes it a lot easier to play with your heels. So. Right. You wouldn't want to wear tap shoes for organ um, unless you were going for a really uh, experimental sort of cross-discipline vibe. Um, let's get into some more music now. Uh, you both have uh, a, a piece to share for us. Um, I think, uh, Marshall, you're going to go first with some Bach, and then we're going to hear from Shaylin. So tell us what we're going to hear. So I'm going to be playing um, Bach's Prelude and Fugue in C minor. After Marshall plays, I'm going to play a piece by Manuel de Falla called Spanish Dance Number no. 1. Beautiful. All right, you guys, take it away.
Shailen Jose, and before that, you heard from Marshall Jose. They are 17 year old twin siblings. Let's try that one again. They are 17 year old twin siblings from Summersworth, New Hampshire. Siblings turns out to be a harder word to say than I thought. Um, there they are. Marshall, Shailen, you two gave such invigorating performances there. We heard some Bach, we heard uh, some Faya. Uh, just fantastic. So um, before we jump into the next stage of our uh, program tonight, which is our lightning round, I want to encourage all of you to go and subscribe to our podcast. It's how you can hear Shaylin's segment. Uh, Shaylin was featured on the radio recently, uh, but if you missed it, you can still hear her by getting the podcast. Uh, so, And you'll hear Marshall when he is featured coming up. So be sure to subscribe. And uh, are you two ready for the lightning round? Ready or not. <laughs> Good enough for me. Um, keep your answers short and sweet. We'll start very sweet with this question. What's the best thing about your sibling? She keeps me in line. <laughs> wow. Not, not necessarily the kind of sweet answer I was expecting, but that's okay. Shailen? Oh, that's now that's nice. That's a bit sweeter. Now that's <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, next question. Do you think uh, that together you have any like twin superpowers? You know what I mean by that? Like, like, yeah, like you yes. mentioned twin tuition earlier. Okay, go ahead, yes. Marshall. Okay, so um, we have the uncanny knack of when the other is talking with their mouth full, the other can somehow understand what they are saying, even when the parents are both like, what, what, what do you say? We understand each other with our mouth. It's just, it's, it's, it's great. Quite interesting. Comes in handy at the dinner table. Uh, okay. How about you, Shailen? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's like pretty much the only thing we can think of. We've never had like our own language or anything, but <laughs> no, <laughs> I think to be honest, I think the fact that you play music together, um, in this combination of harp and organ with your backs to each other, that's pretty amazing. Um, okay. Next is show and tell. Um, a prized possession that maybe you can share with us that's nearby. Yeah, we want to Mark? show you our dog, Sandy. Okay. Who is very obsessed with her ball. I hear little ball. little steps. And uh, Come on, get in the camera. There you go. There she is. There's Sandy. Say hello. Wow. Right now she's kind yeah, of I mean, not like, like being um, picked up. But <laughs> she's beautiful. She's Thanks. beautiful. She's a mutt, she's and baby. she's almost four. So. She'll be Aww. four in February. Okay, Sandy. So when you said that you were the only two siblings, that wasn't really fair to Sandy now, was it? Well, Sandy's she's, the, she's the fur baby. She's, Sandy's the fur baby, She's yeah. the, the fur baby. Now. Okay. Um, how about, next question, I'm, I have a bit of an obsession with food. Do either of you cook? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> what's The question is, what do you? what's your prized dish or food that you can cook well i don't know i'm more of a baker marshall's more like the actual that counts cook, cook. Okay. that counts yeah we like we like making salad grilled um, chicken salad grilled chicken salad, grilled chicken salad. One of our favorites. you don't guys you don't have to answer the same way um okay you, or, okay i'll say i'll say burgers and fries let us try burgers and fries we can do that burgers and fries oh yeah how do you wow that to me that seems advanced as a home cooking thing yeah, we started. We, Fresh we, off the grill. We started learning how to cook when we were in seventh grade. Mom and Dad had us cook like one meal every week. Yeah. But so. do you have a deep fryer at home? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was a mind blown moment. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm like, now. I'm. Uh, yeah. I'm jealous. Okay. What What about you, Shannon? What do you bake? You said you're a baker. Yeah, I really like baking cookies. She doesn't make anything and, and like everything cookies, cakes, you name it. Cupcakes. All right. Once this whole pandemic thing is over, we're hanging out. Um, yeah. All right. Now, last question here. This one, the, you know, the gloves could come off. This could start something ugly. Which instrument is better, harp or organ, and why? And Marshall's been answering first a lot, so I'm going to give you the first shot at this, Shaylin. Oh, come on. It's, this, is, this is a no brainer It's harp, obviously. 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 Because, I mean... Harp is like mentioned first in the Bible. Like, 
Come on, how, how much better can you get? Whoa, whoa, that's a solid argument. You just went biblical on it. That's hard. That's going to be hard to beat. Uh, Marshall, do you want to try big, to rebuff that? Go big or go home. That's what I say. I mean, 33,000 pipes can't beat that. Harper only has how many? 44? 47. 47 strings. <laughs> Oregon can have 33,000 pipes. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Okay, ah. so we have a sort of quality versus quantity um, debate going on here. <laughs> Might that was a lot I of say, fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, please. I say that the harp and the pipe are mentioned both in the same verse, but harp is mentioned first. Right, harp. But they're and the same the verse, pipe. so I mean. Right. Also, let's let's you know the pipe. Are they really talking about an organ though? No. Totally. Mm. I mean, yeah. Not at all. Yeah. All right, all you biblical scholars, get into the chat. Tell us what you think. Uh, and now we're going to go on to some more music. Uh, stick around, though, folks, because after this piece, we're going to dive into our game. Uh, Shaylin, what are you going to play for us next? All right, next I'm going to play two dances from a collection by Carlos Salcedo. He wrote a collection of eight dances. Four of them are classical dances, and four of them are uh, modern dances. I'm going to play the two of the modern dances, the tango and the rumba. Beautiful. Take it from the top. Move the camera back around. Ah, uh, yes, of course.
Give it up for Shailen Jose. If you're just joining us tonight, I'm your host, Peter Dugan, and we have an incredible twin sibling duo. It's Shailen and Marshall Jose. They're recent alums of our program. They're coming to us from New Hampshire. Uh, if you're enjoying the music tonight, please consider uh, making a contribution to our efforts. We are an independent nonprofit, and uh, we really appreciate your generosity. So thank you so much for that. Uh, and now we're going to bring the Jose siblings back on for our game. Uh, hello, Shailen and Marshall. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. Let's do it. I want to encourage all of you at home to participate as well by putting your answers into the chat section. So, okay, um, you guys know that every time we do the game, it's a little bit different. Uh, this week's game is built around the idea that even great artists receive terrible reviews sometimes, right? Um, and it's very important for us to realize that uh, we can't take those reviews to heart. Um, haters gonna hate, as uh, Justin Bieber famously said. I don't know. So... Um, <laughs> So, so here's the way this is going to work. Uh, I'm going to read a quote from a real quote from a review, and you're going to tell me is this written about Franz Liszt or the Beatles? Okay. Um, now, bear in mind that Franz Liszt and the Beatles are more similar than you might think. Both um, sort of created a craze as star performers, and uh, in both cases, audiences went wild for these guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fans went nuts. Um, they had quite the, quite the following. So, okay, here we go. Quote, So unbelievably horrible, so appallingly unmusical, so dogmatically insensitive to the magic of the art. Was that written about the Beatles or Franz Liszt? And uh, Marshall, you go first. I'm going to say list. Okay. And what about you, Shailen? You agree or disagree? I disagree. I think it's the Beatles. Shailen, you're correct. That no. one's about the Beatles. All right. And all of you at home, don't forget to put your guests into the chat. All right. Number two. Quote, excessive hair growth, an inability to recognize melody, a highly emotional state with severe body twitches. Now, is that one about List or the Beatles? And this time you go first, Shailen. Uh, both had excessive hair growth. They, they both did. But I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say it's List. Okay. I concur. Marshall? Yeah, same. That one was also about the Beatles. Oh, come on. <laughs> also about the Beatles. You're right. They both had excessive hair growth, and they were both very emotional uh, on stage. Okay. Yeah. Next one, quote, why was such trash allowed to figure in the program? And it's back to Marshall. Why was such trash allowed to figure in the program? This is partly psychological too, so. True. <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay. I thought I'd want to help you. Yeah, Beatles, Beatles. Okay, he says Beatles. Shailen? List. List is correct. Oh, come on. Shailen is, Shailen is pulling ahead. All right, next one. This is a short one. Ready? Quote, thoroughly chaotic. Thoroughly chaotic. List. Shailen? Just kidding. Bad, bad boy. Uh, Shailen, what do you think? Beatles, and what did you say, Marshall? List. List is correct. All right, you are oh. making, a, making a comeback here. It's, I think, two to one. Um, quote, a version of a mild disease which periodically sweeps across the country as the plagues of the Middle Ages once did. Oh, that's, that's Marshall? a roast. Beatles. That's a rough one. Beatles. You think Beatles? What about you, Shailen? Um, sorry, can you read it one more time? Sure. A version of a mild disease which periodically sweeps across the country as the plagues of the Middle Ages once did. I think it's List. That one's Beatles. 
That one's Beatles. We're all tied up, folks. All right, it's time for the tiebreaker. Here we go. Quote, We must have been very stupid listeners, but we felt after it as if we had been stoned and beaten. Stoned and beaten. Was that describing the music of the Beatles or List? And it's up to you, Shaylin, I think, right? Call him the comeback kid because the answer is list and a remarkable comeback for Marshall. Um, that was, you guys did great. That was, uh, that was competitive. I got to say, I was, that was a nail biter. Um, we try not to like wipe each other out. <laughs> that, that was great. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed that at home. And remember, never let the bad reviews get you down um, because we all get them sometimes. Speaking from experience. Uh, okay, let's uh, get on to the final number of the evening. Before we do that, though, I want to thank all of you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting these amazing young artists. And most importantly, thank you to Marshall and Shaylin. You two have been a real joy this evening. Your music has been sublime. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Pete. Marshall, what are we going to hear to take us out of the program? So this is a piece that I heard last year. Um, at a concert that was done by Chelsea Chen, who's a very famous organist. Um, amazing, by the way. Um, it basically tells a story of this one man and his brother as they go on this amazing adventure to try to rescue a princess. And oh. yeah, but she's never actually there. Like, you have to go. Yeah, anyway, they huh. go above ground. And underground, ah. sometimes in the air, and wow. eventually face down a amazingly horrible beast. Wow, this sounds like a, a harrowing tale of of two great heroes and and again siblings. Um, this is wow. I'm I'm ready. I'm 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 buckled in. I'm ready to hear this this adventure. <laughs> Moving the cameras. Move the cameras.
give it up for Marshall Joes and Shaylin Joes as well. Our amazing twins. You guys were fantastic. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, thank you. for joining us. I'm Peter Dugan. Good night. Thanks, Good night. Peter. Thank you. Good night.